In any case, this is weekly one shot number. Hmm. 276 doesn't feel right, but that's what I've written, so let's go with that. It is Contra. I've ran this game before. Did it as a two hours of hell many, many, many years ago. Ancient channel history by now. Uh, I succeeded in beating the game within two hours. Came down to the wire, but I eventually pulled out my Contra spirit. And with the assistance of the spread shot power up, was able to triumph in that game, but that won't be an option this time. This time, no power-ups are allowed. If I collect one, I must instantly kill myself, in-game at least. Uh, and I have only an hour and a half to defeat this game using that paltry little shot that you see them using in the demo right now. Is there anything else I need to say? Mm, not that I can think of. In that case, let's get going. One player, no Konami code for 30 lives. No need for that at all. We'll hit the timer as soon as we have control, which is immediately, so let's get going. There's still, looks like, two minutes left on the uh, the voting, so you can make your decision based on what you see here. I want that power-up out of my way. Dodging power-ups is actually just adding to the difficulty here, because now power-ups are essentially bottomless pits. Just instantly killing me if I land on any of them. Ooh, easy now. Okay, well, there's a great start. It was not great. It was rather tragic. But hey, allows me to avoid that. That's the spread shot, you can tell by the S. I want it already, but I cannot have it. And there's Fire Beam, which I've got and put in a very awkward position. Maybe I should just stop shooting those. So this paltry little attack that we have, it's pretty weak, doesn't spread at all. You can only have a number of projectiles on the screen at once, and it's never enough. Uh, you know what these old games are like. Can't handle so many moving things, can't handle so many audio things, but I love them. Love my retro gaming. Well, most of it, at least. Get some real arse back in the day as well. But not this game. This game we had uh, Probotector over at my cousin's house. Oh god, how do I even deal with you without spread? Uh, well, I can start by not having to deal with you. And then... Hmm, without the spread, the angle's a little awkward. Can I just shoot from here? Or here? Okay, well... At least I can do this safely. And once the little cannons are gone... Gotta remember, no big rush here. This game you can do in 10 minutes or less. If my, if I recall well, I think Yagamoth can actually speedrun this game. I seem to recall him running it, but then again, Yagamoth can do everything. And that's just goodbye you. And all is well. Yeah, Yagamoth himself. Could be misremembering that. He did stream a lot of Secret of Mana as well. What a great streamer. If ever there was someone I'll go and check out whenever he's live, it's Yagamoth. Just an all-round great guy. Alright, good sign. We've already got our first one-up. Probably gonna need plenty of those, especially since I died on the first level. This is something that made the game extra cool, though. These little segments. I believe these were childhood Jake's favourite segments. You're pretty much invincible as long as you just lie down in these. But of course you can't shoot when lying down. Oh, you can. Okay, well. Well, I'm sure there's some downside involved. Ah yes, the grenade things. That had me a bit cornered there. I look forward to joining the rest of the doubters in the Bopper's house! At least you know it's coming. Oh, right, Christ, this is a lot harder without, um, without spread. Those little barrels coming on the bottom there, normally we just dispatch them, no problem. Helps that the music is fantastic for this section. Ooh, okay, well, that doesn't help. Almost game over it already. This is cons- Oh, God! So that guy was kind enough to give me a power-up. I'm not allowed to use it, so I have to die, and that was my last life, so... Game over. You do, however, get a number of continues in this game. I forget the number. Probably not enough. Okay, damn, that, that just gives me another thing to avoid. They throw power-ups here. Hmm, okay. Well, perhaps the doubters won't be quite as much a pauper as they may think. Save me death perception. Tarkin just says, maybe I was wrong to believe. How quickly you're a turncoat! 
Can't believe what I'm hearing. I'll show you Tarkin. During the original two hours of hell, it was on the final run that I really pulled out my Contra spirit. Alright, get out of here. Is that a grenade? Look like a chicken drumstick. Have you had your dinner? Or your breakfast? Being so hungry, you look at Contra and all you see is food. Alright, see that red guy dropping the F power up. Oh, that's a bothersome thing. Alright, perhaps I should just focus on the center bit. When that thing goes, it all explodes anyway. And then we proceed forward, and I feel pretty antsy, because I already have only one hit left. See, these enemies, they get spread shot. And down I go. Game over. Hmm, how many continues do you get? I think it's only two continues, so this could be me on my last legs already. Off to a pretty tragic start, I must say. Sorry, obviously just getting warmed up, you know, I'm, I'm just, I've just woken up, only just had my breakers. The real me is still sleeping within. I reckon it's 50-50, Jake is older and wiser, surely. Older and wiser, even from my previous run of this. Alright. I think I just seriously need to prioritize my own well-being in all of this. 44% win, 60, 56% uh, on lose, hmm. How mysterious. I thought it would be a lot more slanted towards lose, honestly. Try playing this game without power-ups, it's not pretty. All right, well, let's just focus fire in the center here. And just hope that they don't, you know, oh, oh getting up too early. Curse you depth perception. Can't sandbag on this one. Let's go, Jay. Uh, I'm gonna need a new motivational line out of your Tin Shadow. We had that one already. Alright, I should really take care of the weapons before the, the big bad in this boss spawns. Easy does it now. Come on out. Alright, this should be okay as long as the... Uh, as long as those big balls don't hurt me so bad. So focus down the big balls first. Oh, I missed it. Oh, they're not heat-seeking. I must be thinking of another boss. But there is absolutely a boss that sends out annoying heat-seeking balls at you. I think it's the one that looks like a face. There we go. See? The bads don't know what's coming. No, it's not bads here. That's, um, low G... Uh, oh, God, no, not low G, man. Um, Bionic Commando fights the bads. We fight Red Falcon here. I forget the story with Red Falcon. Uh-oh, I should not have shot that. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, well, let's make it not a problem. That's a laser beam, not my favorite power-up, but it's a power-up, so it's still verboden. I'm unsure if there's uh, any call on the invincible... Easy now. Right, you gotta go. Not having, any, not having any of you. Not sure about the invincibility power-up. I suppose it's still a power-up, so I'm not allowed to grab it. It's a shame because it makes a lot of this level a lot easier, so let's just let the power-ups pass us by. Remember, in this game there is absolutely no need to hurry. There's no timer. Although on old games that don't have timers, sometimes I wonder... If you did truly leave it to run on one level for hours, would it not crash or anything? I'm left feeling very suspicious that it might have some kind of issue with the game where, you know, there's some counter ticking up and it's going to overflow and crash the game. I always assume that's why they put uh, time limits in a lot of old games, just because the game can't handle running for so long. Ah, oh, crumbs. Oh, double crumbs! I didn't expect it to spawn me over the pit. Okay, well, at least we get another continue. This is certainly not going to be a successful run, but it'll be a nice probing run. A probotecting run, if you will. Just getting a feel for the experience with only the base weapon. The snow level I'm not looking forward to because... Oh, I shouldn't have shot you again. Because um, there's this enemy, which is just a big tank. And without the extra spread shot projectiles, it's going to be very hard to kill before it just moves in on me to put an end to my life.
Again, just let the power up pass me by. Don't think twice about it. It's there, it's gone. Well, we gotta make do without. Oh, good god. So many projectiles. Funnily enough, whilst our weapon might be terrible, it's the enemies we white projectiles that I fear the most because they're the hardest to perceive. See those? How, how are you meant to see those? Especially with this moving background. There we go. So I want it down. You stay away. Don't even jump into me. Now we got some weird alien like boss. The first hint in this game that perhaps you're not fighting humans. A very mash heavy boss, but not just mash, it's precise mashing. Gotta hit the tippy tips of his everything. Alright, have at. If I get a good angle on you, this might be trivialized. Ooh, right, you send out those balls as well. Oh, See, this is where spread helps out. With spread, you can just spray and pray, something's gonna hit. And I don't think I can destroy those projectiles. No, no I cannot. Ah, too greedy. I want the hand gone just so I don't have to worry about its projectiles. Although I suppose a clever person would just focus down the face. But now, with just the face to go, I can give it what's for. It's got this lovely little blank spot here, which... Okay, maybe not. Screw it. Take it easy. Absolutely no rush. That said, this run is already doomed to failure, at least uh, until I game over and come back for another. Because I'm pretty sure I have no more continues. And there's no chance I'm getting through the snow level like this, let alone this little uh, corridor segment. I always confuse Contra with the twin stick shooter from the same era. Twin stick shooter of the same era. Yeesh. Oh yeah, that's right, you can't press left and right and down. If you're ducking and you accidentally tilt the thing left or right, you you break out of duck. I actually remember that doing me in when I played this on the two hours of hell. Ah, crumbs. I remember that doing me in the two hours of hell because at the time I was using a uh, an Xbox controller. And my god, those are awful for platforming. Stands to reason, after all. I mean, how many platformers were there for the for the Xbox 360? I said Xbox 360, right? In my head, I just said N64. Certainly, do not use an N64 controller for this game. All right, down you go, go. Ah, oh, crumbs! I think this is my very last life. However, getting score does give more lives. Pretty convinced it doesn't get more continues. You are a problem, I just gotta let him do his little dancing trick, because if I kill him, he drops a power up and it could be unavoidable. Okay, that's good. I just wanted that gone. And then we just take out the big orbs. At least if I can face the boss here, I can rejig my memory about what I'm fighting. No, another one. Alright, open up. We got places to be and people to kill. Not you, not you. <laughs> oh boy. This dancing red guys. They put, in mind, they put me in mind of Time Crisis actually. Time Crisis has the red guys. They're super accurate. Okay, we're we still not done here. Come on, open up. Okay. Yeah, I gotta jump and shoot this last one. Oh, And that, I think, is that. Back to square one. Took 13 minutes to uh, completely get ourselves killed, but surely we have learned everything we need to learn to go and crush the game now, at, at least until we get to the snow level. All right, fewer kills earlier or better kills earlier. Just keep moving, shooting. Just let the power up pass me by. And onwards and upwards. How you feeling, lobbies? Quietly confident? Certainly no one sounds loudly confident. Normally at this point we'd be hearing the lose lobby saying, haha, my points are secured, or win lobbyists going, oh man, why did I vote win? 
Well, it's not all negative for me. Now, this is a, a really quick and easy game to pick up. Uh, I'd love to see more people give this a go, especially if they're not familiar with the genre or games of the era. I know we've got plenty of people here who were just twinkles in their father's eye when this game came out. Okay, uh, good. <laughs> those, the hitboxes and those power-ups could do me in at some point, I'm sure. Gosh, avoiding the power-ups just... It adds a fair bit to the experience. It really does. Oh god. Guy up top needs to go. Okay, good. And then this needs to go. This is more than a little awkward. When did this game come out? Ooh, 1987? I don't know. Uh, thereabouts, right? It's an early ish NES title. 1987, says the lab. Man, it sucks to not suck, right? This game is quite common in bootleg systems here, so I played it plenty, says BR Princess Orlov. But I suck at it too much to stream. <laughs> what do you not suck at too much to stream? It's the excuse of so many. It's like, oh, I'm no good, I couldn't stream this. Have you seen the community streams around here? Did Nancy Drew just not happen in your life? Alright, take it easy. My own life preservation is the highest priority. Speed doesn't even matter. It's a 20 minute game tops, even if you're slow as molasses. That's a good sign though. You can pick up so many lives that it stops displaying in the top left, and that's how you really know you're on a winning streak. Easy does it. Oh, God almighty. Come on, I streamed Mega Man. Yeah, all the while going like, this is my favorite game. I know this game inside out. Mega Man's so great. It was one of the more competent... Oh, crumbs. One of the more competent streams we've seen around here in a long time. Well, you know, not, not my own streams not included. Why am I wasting my time shooting everything that isn't the main bit here? There we go. Okay. Now, hopefully, as long as nobody throws any grenades at me, I can just take... Oh, here come the grenades. There we go. Should just focus the center down. What was I playing at there? Okay, you. You've got to go. Good start. Good hustle. If I really wanted to maximize my damage, I'd be jumping up so that I could get more projectiles on, stream, uh, on screen at the same time when taking care of that thing, but... You know, that's just getting pure greediness, right? And we're not about the greed here. We're about calm, sustainable progress. No need for... Oh, bollocks. Walked clean into that one as well. Okay. Is the Konami code considered an upgrade? Well... I'd never live it down if I beat Contra, only thanks to the Konami code. We didn't need it in the two hours of hell, we don't need it here. Uh, that said, I'm already about one third of the way through my time allowance. And we haven't even seen the snow level. Okay, maybe this time do not shoot the upgrade. Upgrade bad. Oh, <laughs> that's also bad. Oh well, hey, we're learning. Easy does it now. I do not like you being here, though. You get out of here. This is such a disorienting level, all thanks to the bleeding background here. The bleeding eyes background. 
Again, power up, ignore. <laughs> People jumping, projectiles flying. Such an unpleasant level. Ah, I shouldn't let that guy in the right psych me out. Okay, so one continue down and only on the second level here, not fantastic. We gotta remember there's not a lot of levels in this game. Ah, bollocks. Not a lot of levels in this game, and on top of that, the, the late levels are actually rather easy. It's the level where you're fighting the alien menace. Surprisingly easy. Then again, I'm talking as a man who previously used the spread shot. Could be that no spread means significantly more difficulty. Down you all go. Oh, down I go! Come on. Let's not smudge the finish here. There are no lose lobbyists to bait out at this point. The votes are all cast. Not that I would ever sandbag, but you know, sometimes it's fun just to bait people out. Get baited out by him. Actually, what I could just do is wait for. Yeah, screw it. I'll have you down. There we go. I just like not having the likelihood of being shot at as I make that jump across. You're not committed to your jumps. This is no Castlevania. You can move as much as you want, left, right, all you want in midair. But this guy does drop like a rock. Okay, you know what? No arms this time. We focus face and nothing but. Open up your freaking mouth. Ah, oh, bollocks. Oh, God, I'm dead already? Where did my lives go? Maybe I should take out the hands then. Maybe he doesn't open his mouth until you kill the hands? I thought he was opening his mouth even when I left the hands alive. Hmm, more fool me. Okay, just imagine how robbed the lose lobby is going to feel when I break out the victory here. My indomitable Contra spirit usually only comes out towards the end. Contra was synonymous with game difficulty. He used to say Contra hard. Kind of like Nintendo hard, back when Nintendo made hard games. And back when Nintendo made uh, games instead of DMR claims. That's screwed up. Oh, okay, I was planning on just jumping across after all those shots were failing me, but this is going much better. However,. How many continues did I get? I think it was three continues, and we've used two of them, so we should have one left. Maybe I'll at least get over to the snow level. Alright, so yes to destroying the hands. Maybe just dodge for a bit, because the, the hands do... Oh! There we go, he does open his mouth! Even so, taking out the hand seems like a great move. Just being able to take out his mouth stress-free is such... such a good feeling. There we go. Whew, okay, Corridor 2. I think there are three Corridor levels. I hope there aren't four. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Don't let myself down here. We got work to do. Golly gosh. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh god, I think I'm hitting between those. Come on now. 
With uh, with spread shot, these things just die so quickly. Just mash plenty. The spread shot can have a ridiculous number of shots on screen at once. Unlike this thing, which is shooting, what, four at a time, I think? Oh, dearie me. Always sucks to lose to just an errant white little pixely shot like that. Feels like you're just throwing it all away. Come on now. My goose ain't cooked yet. Now it's the Dark Souls of Contra Likes, no! <laughs> oh man, I did not enjoy Dark Souls. I don't mind you giving me that power up because I know I'm not going to be over there for it. And I wanted you off the screen. Come on, open up. I got places to be. Okay, not bad, not bad. This is the upper one as I recall. Oh no. Right, come on, we're still alive. Keep it moving. Jump up, take it out, move along. Just focus fire center. Don't give two hoots about what else is going on, unless it's a grenade coming your way, in which case give a significant hoot. It's not necessarily coming your way. There we go. Right, boss, bring it on. So this one, I think, has the, the face thing. Which I was talking about earlier. Oh god, it's also got these! I forgot about you! Okay, well as long as they go away... Okay, they just jumped down at me, that's fine. That I can live with. I dare not kill the last glowy thing before I take out the gun. Mm, yeah. Okay, gun's down. Little crappy guys go away. Ah. Oh point blank shot by that one. Okay. Do they continue to spawn even after this guy's doing his thing? Oh golly gosh, I forgot. These are the heat-seeking balls I was talking about. Trivialized by the spread shot. Spread shot just knocks them dead, but... I'm barely hurting this guy. <laughs> but he's putting the pressure on me, that's for sure. Come on. Goodness, this is so much like the fight against uh, the, the big bad in Ninja Gaiden. See, he sends those floaty balls at you whilst you're still trying to hit the enemy. There's so much jump and dodging and shooting. Okay, at least when there's only one of them. Not quite so brutal. Ah! Terrifying. Yes, Optimus Prime has been put in the grave. Onwards to Galvatron. Alright, Snow Level. This level's really cool, but with zero lives in the top left, I don't feel too confident. You gotta be careful when ducking here again. You cannot press left or right, or else you'll stand up and get yourself killed. Love the music for this level, though. Oh, alright. The pity life is here. Do not take the power up. It's a trap. A reminder, I get a power up. I must instantly send our guy to the grave here. And as you may have noticed, I don't have lives to spare. I suppose I now have one life to spare, don't I? Say no to power-ups. Yeah, there is a trio of power-ups here, and this is normally a uh, a moment of grace for you, where you go, oh, thank oh god, you've got to go. Okay, you know what, I'll just I'll just make my way through. God, I love this music. This I don't love so much. Alright, tank. Just gotta get right up. Right up. And hope that it dies before it comes and rams you. 
All right, all right. We're a okay. I thought that would be worse without spread. <sighs> there are three of those guys, I think. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. All right, there we go. Nay, problem. That life counts as a power up, surely. Do I feel empowered? I gotta say, I thought snow level would be going a lot worse. I do hope the lose, lab uh, lose lobby starts feeling the perspiration. Come get some. I know you. Oh, oh, we got big dancing guy now. I think. Oh no, no, we got Doctor Wiley. I forgot. Oh, dang. Oh, double dang. That went the opposite of how I'd planned. Hmm. I really thought I could rush him down. Hmm. Okay. It's a problem. Now let's hope it wasn't just a fluke that I did so well on the snow level. Do, do, do. Such a cool level. Is it even snowy? It might just be whitey rocks, but then again, those look like pretty snow-covered trees to me. How do we do in the snow levels for the lemmings? I think we had a forced death. So, just avoid the power-ups. Power-ups are bad. Okay. It is called Snowfield. Ah. Touché, Thagnus. Easy money. Cocky. Looked over at chat. Should not focus chat. Gotta win this challenge. <laughs> Don't want to be defeated by Contra. Power-ups or no power-ups, we can do this. If I can at least get to the alien level, I'll feel very confident, because I don't think it's very difficult. It's the, the last level, so why would I? But, if my memory serves, we have the snowfield, and then we have another... Uh, another one of those hallway levels. Base levels, I think they're called. Then we've got the weird tube like gob. Oh, damn. That's what I mean, so I ducked there, but I ducked and also pulled the controller over to the left or right a bit, and that twitched Mr. Contra. And so he stood up and just ate the bullet. It would be nice if down were absolute on the controls here, but they are not. Is there a limit on continues? Yeah, I believe you get three continues. Alright, Dr. Wiley, let's try this again, shall we? So I should get my shots in, and win. Hmm. Good strategy. Yeah, I'm out of continues. Energy zone. Oh, there's no hallway! It's energy zone, hallway, and then win? No, I think there's another bit of energy hallway. Like, it, it becomes brighter colored, more orange-like. Oh boy, this no I don't even get the invincibility power up. That's also brutal. More cool music as well. Oh, I gotta crank this up on my end. Oh no! <laughs> Psyched out by that guy's uh, that guy's diagonal attack. Stand up to move and then die. This also has some very brutal jumps, like that thing right there. Ah oh, man, I never make that jump. And the bottom jump is really long. Okay, 
Now I'm starting to feel a little bit antsy because the energy zone is not pleasant. That jump in particular leaves me thinking, how do I do that? Alright, let's go. I actually follow and watch one of the world holders of Contra on Twitch. You're basically on pace. Oh, easy now, easy now. That is verboten. Timing to jump across the bridge and not get thrown into the water is actually tighter than it might seem. Mm, yeah, the energy level has me shaken now because that's not a pleasant level. Oh, I absolutely should not be taking losses on the first level. Bad show. Kind of tempting to almost start over after taking a, a life loss in the first level, but I'm always very derisive of doing that in games. Actually, thinking about it, scoring kills is good because I really need those extra lives, huh? Well, if they're safe and not time-consuming, then sure, I can go for it. Also, this is taking an Aeon. Wasn't I meant to... No. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I think most of my shots are landing on the bottom bit anyway. You only need to destroy the bottom bit, you don't need to take out the guns, but I don't trust myself to go on the approach there and not get shot to death. Alright, another level where I absolutely should not be taking losses. It's very kind of the game to remove all the projectiles once you tear down the wall. Surprisingly kind of the, uh, the game in fact. Okay, right, very appreciative of the extra life. Let's get this done, no continues pretty please. Who needs them? Hopefully not this guy. Alright. <laughs> did not like that initial shot. Right, get myself over here where it's relatively safe. Alright, one down. I've essentially taken no damage then, given the level up that I've, uh, the, the one up that I've had. Now let's not get greedy. No need to jump into the great big balls of death. They don't even hone in on you, just, just, just take a little step to the left or right and down they go. Hey, I wonder if you could farm lives off this guy. Wait, they do home. Just notice that they very slightly curve around. Yeah, I wonder if we could farm lives of this guy. I don't know if these balls are dropping any uh, experience. Well, it's not experience, is it score? I don't actually know how the score gain works on this. Or the lives gain off the score. Maybe a life every 50,000? For me it's 50, 100, 200, 500. No idea. I wonder if there are mad people out there that do score runs of this game. And they would have to be mad. Nobody has cared, uh, cared about score gain in the history of video games. Alright, take it easy as Waterfall is a prime target for just throwing lives away. Also throwing my vision away. That, oof. that Waterfall is unpleasant to look at. Oh, <laughs> you bugger! 
hopscotching his way up to kill me. Alright, let's hope that's the first and the last of the thrown away lives here. Jump over that. There we go. Oh, if we can get through this level without using any continues, I'll feel a whole lot happy about everything. Even the economy. Alright, hands first. Alright, one down makes everything a lot easier. Got greedy on that. I should not have been running over to you the way I did, but there we go. You're dead to rights now. I actually think there's a sweet spot you can stand in where he can't hurt you at all, but yeah, because his big jaw is a massive hitbox, but again, why take the risk? There we go. Either way, good luck, says Nivek, saying that it is 5 a.m. where they are. Well, what a shame. It's 11 a.m. where I am. Hungary. All right, come on. I don't want to live forever. <sighs> oh, come on, that's not very nice. I know he's Canadian, but he's a swell guy nonetheless. Oh, luck, not lucky. Uh -huh. I know Lucky's ran this game, I don't remember how well though. It's Lucky though, so he probably complained about his hands being mush. Oh, that was bad. Practically saw that coming towards me in slow motion, and I still hit it. There's a laser power up, but not taking it. How I would love to have it though. Take out little bits at the bottom. Oh. Again, <clears throat> I don't mind that power up because I'm not over there. One more. No, there's one more after this. Oh wow, I didn't know you could stand between those barrels. That's good. We've learnt an important lesson. Oh god, there's another one after all this. Spare me, Red Falcon. I gotta look good in front of all the Twitch viewers. <laughs> oh god, to think we're halfway through the timer. I don't want to think that. Alright, alright. Now you, you're no fun. Do not fear the wee guys that are jumping down at you, they're no big deal. The, the, the shooting guys, they're a bit of a bigger deal though. But it looks like they stop after a few bullets. Yeah, and then they just run away. Sweet, alright. Mm. Let's take you on, Optimus. Oh, great damn, I thought it was passing me by underneath. Okay, sudden death. <clears throat> oh no! <laughs> Not where I wanted the game over. Dang, it was looking so good. All right, here we go again, then. <sighs> Don't worry, just get a bloody move on. I'm just gonna shoot between this guy's legs. Mm. 
and he easily does it. Whenever things look bad here, you can just hold down and be invincible, unless they're throwing grenades, and these guys ain't throwing grenades. Oh well, there's, there's also the barrels. Yeah, that was our first of three continues. I can just stay down, stay down, stay down. Take it out. Nothing to worry about. Oh yeah, there are, there are the power-ups as well, gotta worry about those. So much to worry about. Who worries? There's one such power-up. R. What is R? I think it's rapid? I've never noticed anything rapid about the rapid shot. Alright, we know we can just stand here between the barrels. Vital knowledge. Easy money. Oh, R is railgun. Oh, that passes me by. Easy does it now. All right, now Optimus. One shall sh one shall stand and one shall fall. All right, that was great pace on taking out the gun thing. No, 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 no. Those guys got me point blank before. All right, come on! Oh no, 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 no! Oh man, why did the bubbles not give me much trouble before? Now it's anything but no trouble. And they're so hard to hit with this crummy little pea shooter. I cannot avenge my partner's death with this pea shooter. All right, come on then. At least if there's only one of you, it's a lot easier to just take out the wee bubbles as they come. Ah, damn shame about using up the continue and losing another five minutes, but onwards to Snowland. No, sadly, no last life rule to be had. Would be a great game to have the last life rule for. Oh, no. Well, that does not bode well for Snowland. Oh, oh, crumbs. All right, under we go. And again, that was me just twitching to the left or the right, which makes our our man stand up. Credit to the NES D-pad. When you held down, you held down. All right, we we covered here. Okay, good, good enough. Ah! Oh! <laughs> That's what I get for taking a route less traveled. Just blindsided by Pistol Man. Only one health left. Can we get through all of it, including Dr. Wily on one health? Alright, at least this guy is nice and simple. Yeah, the only hit point you need is the last one, right? But I don't want to have to lose time by redoing this level, but it feels like that's exactly what's going to happen. One errant twitch. I'm tanking one of those bullets. Although, maybe I can get myself an extra life? That's unlikely though. Megatron gave me a life. Oh no! How did that even happen? I guess I got a little too close, but oh well. Damn, that's my second continue of three used up already. It's starting to really not bode well. Ugh. 
Jesus, I can feel it falling apart actively. This isn't good. Tap into that innate contra spirit I have. tell me I have to fight that guy at all. Just move on. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Phew. I thought I hit power up there. Uh-oh. Huh! That might have worked out for me, because I could have gotten blindsided by pistol guy otherwise. If you quit now, you can get back to Avorion. No, no, come now, Acronymous. We all know that's not how it works around here. Oh, wow. Oh, double wow. I am definitely not uh, doing that well. I was staying a bit further back after my last encounter, but no, you really got to get cozy with that guy. I would have taken less hits if I just let him run me over and then dashed through him. Alright, alright, just just get nice and close. That's better. The feet can die. Just a little bit more, Dr. Wily, and then we move on. To the blasted energy zone. God, that was far too close. As was all of that. Alright. I'm coming to get you, Wily. There we go. Oh, and we ever get life back for it. Okay. Whew. Is this based on Vietnam or what? Come on, it was the 80s. It all was. It's all war propaganda all the way down. Alright, just take it easy. This level is hard as hell. Probably the hardest level in the game. I struggle to think of one that's harder. God, that guy with his diagonal shots again! Eesh, I need to remember you and take you out. Do, 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 do. Can you even make this bottom jump? Well, I guess the question is, can I? Ah! Oh, <laughs> no! I wanted to try it. At least then if I died, we come back with full lives. But Red Falcon, we're just having my number. Where's that indomitable spirit? Right. Top guy gotta go. Bottom guy's gotta go. They all gotta go. Now, can we jump this? <gasps> oh, fun! Oh, lordy no. Yeah, that jump is unpleasant to the nth degree. Okay. Normally you can enjoy some invincibility around this point, but obviously we cannot. Okay, we're running very much out of time here. And we haven't even got past energy zone. Now right, let's go. Boy, what a game changer it is having the crummy gun. Not that power-ups would help a lot with some of the later stuff that's kicking my ass there, but 
I would have had such an easier time in the earlier levels that I'd have loads of lives to spare. Oh boy, you know what, that is certainly worth starting over for. I need every life that I can get towards the end. <laughs> Tin Shadow says, oh, the legs are shaking. Learn to take responsibility for your own gambles. Just be glad there's not real money on the line. Gosh, that would be the great evolution though. Gambling for real money on the weekly one shot? I'd, I could get behind that. I don't have any qualms against gambling. I rather like gambling, in fact. Even when I was a kid, those two penny falls? Loved them. I, I never had the gahonies to try the ten penny falls, though. The idea that I could lose so much money so quickly on the ten p falls. You know, ten shots and a quid's gone? Ooh, no thank- oh. What? <laughs> no, no, no. Did somebody coat that ledge with butter? The guy just slid clean off it? I think it was just on my last uh, last run I was saying, oh, I don't want to start over just for a crummy death. That's not blah, blah, blah. And then here I am. The turns have tabled. But just thinking about how much harder those later levels are fills me with the need to preserve every life I can. Okay, there we go. I suspect what happened last time was I had down and jump held, so I just slid right through the floor. With very limited buttons on the NES. You gotta map accordingly. Right, top guy. Farewell, top guy. Farewell, gun. Yeah, I'm not taking any. Hold on, did one of my shots from here land? No, I suspect not. See with this, especially if you have spread, you just walk up, mash that thing and it dies with, before they can even shoot you back. Evidently not an option, no spread. Whew. <sighs> All right, no, no hassle, no hassle. Very antsy for every life now, James. We threw away far too many in the energy zone for no real gain and no real knowledge either. Puts me in mind of the Hitman run where I uh, I made it through China and someone said the best thing out of all of that was that Jake learnt nothing. And I finished that Hitman run without understanding how the doors work in China. Alright, a very welcome life, and I just noticed that grenade coming towards me. Fortunately though, I was fine without noticing it. Right, come on. Take out one gun, and the rest shall fall like dominoes. Easy money. Absolutely no excuse for taking a loss here. But I'm not, I'm not killing the center one, I don't want the boss to appear whilst I still have this thing shooting me. 
wouldn't even register on the threatometer for a man who had the spread upgrade, but do I have spread? I wish. Now, I need every bit of life that I can handle going into the energy zone. Well, the rocks are one thing that haven't killed me so far. I'd like to keep it that way. Well, not even, I don't want to say the so far part. I just want to say they haven't killed me and leave it at that. Okay. Cheers, Acronymous. Showing support for Glorious Contra. Right, no need to panic, Ratty. No need to panic. Stay calm, stay calm. <laughs> oh, jeez, I messed that up. Again, I just buttered my way off the ledge there, but thankfully I was able to believe that it wasn't butter. Oh dear, oh dear, I knew, I knew that was going bad as soon as I saw that thing on the right shooting at me. It's okay, one, one life does not end of the run make. Right, shoot me so I can jump over the shot, destroy you. Oh, God! Whew. Okay, right, should be secure here. No way that the alien and its lackey has taken me out with two extra lives here. Okay, come on then. Okay, one of you down makes my life so much easier. Ah, oh, damn, why'd I even stop moving? Sorry, right. death comes for us all. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm safe where I stand, but... Am I willing to bet the run on that? Not quite. Okay, let's keep it moving. <laughs> Tidy showing once again that lurking is the highest form of life. I'm not kidding, lurking is good. You know, whoever lurks for a while and then comes in showing off their vast catalogue of emotes. Alright. Feeling good. Ish. Energy zone will make short work of that good feeling, but for now. Living feels on the cards. Okay, thankfully I took out the left one before Lance shot ended up over there. Yeah, Dwayne and Brando did a cool song about um, Contra. Contra Force. Was it Dwayne and Brando, or was it the amazing Dwayne and the Plasmas, I think it was. Yeah, it was the Plasmas and 8-Bit Dwayne with uh, their song about Contra. It was pretty cool. I used to hum it to myself when running. Oh god, I don't know I don't know something happened there that just made me completely lose my focus. Thankfully I was already in the right position. <sighs> done, done and done right. Come on. Final one before Optimus Prime. 
Just focus fire. Avoid the grenades. Avoid the everything. Again, there is no hurry apart from that uh, time limit, but... Oh, and I did not notice that grenade. Okay, alright, we only get one spare shot against Optimus Prime. I won't take any of those shots, thank you. I don't care about the blue guys, they're not such a threat, they just jump down to their doom. Take you out, take you out. Done, Optimus! I guess I'll do it. Focus down the bubbles, and only make the shot when you feel that there's no bubbly threat coming towards you. Oh, that worked out pretty well. Easy now, the bubbly threat remains. Ah. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. All the way over to Snow Zone. All three continues remain, but not much time. This is definitely our last shot. No way we could beat the game with... Uh... I suppose if we restarted right now, we could probably make it. But we're not aiming for a restart right now. We're aiming for a win. Mm. Have patience, just let the power up pass you by. It's not going to do you any good. It's only going to do you bad, actually. Oh, bollocks! <laughs> Those are the shots that hurt the most. You jump, and then, no, the guy's just waiting for you. You're not committed to your jumps uh, quite so badly as, let's say, Castlevania, but you're certainly committed to being in the air. Okay, now this guy cost me last time. Get close, but evidently not too close. That doesn't feel close enough, there we go. <laughs> Come on then. Never enjoyed fighting these damn things. God, that's going right through my shins. Oh man, I was so confident with those guys the first time I fought them because just yeah, no problems. Just just get up close, destroy them, and then oh no, too close. Oh no, too far away, and then before you know it, sent back to the continues needed zone. Whoa. Gosh. Alright, come on, Dr. Wily. Let's go energy zone with all of my continues, please. It's very simple, just take them out in two cycles. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, bad, bad, bad mistakes were made. Three cycles it is then. I didn't center myself enough to actually land my shots. Okay, good, good, good recovery. Perfect recovery, come on! Whew. Okay, come on, come on. 20 minutes, Red Falcon awaits. Now this, this level's just so hard, freaking core. Right, don't forget the diagonal shooting man. He's gotta go. He's gone. 
They're all gone. With this lousy pea shooter. Hoop! Wow, I can't believe I made that jump. It is tight as a tiger. And you get blindsided by that thing. Just take it easy. No, absolutely no hurry. Well, I mean, I've only got 20 minutes on the clock, but absolutely no hurry. Let it do its thing. Jump, duck, jump, jump. Fake it out. Go down. No! No, 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 no! Dum, dum, down. Dum, dum, down. Definitely gotta take the high route here. Hops a daisy. See, now the enemies are getting smart. They're trying to duck as well. Well, they're not just trying, they're succeeding. Another one. Okay, come on. Damn, I gotta, I gotta fight. Uh, gotta fight the big cheese after this as well. Is that just dun dun dun? Oh, you rotter! Oh, so that one had the double flame as well. Damn you, energy zone. Okay, don't panic. So we may be down a continue. If I needed all those continues to begin with, did I really deserve the win? That guy with his ducking shot, that was... that was gnarly. Can I just take the the upper zone here? Mmm, it hurts. I can't believe how hard that jump is. Come on, you have all the information you need to succeed. What was that? Oh! That was brutality, that was. I think they were desynced. Okay, uh, I don't like the fact that this is probably going to be another continue use. So one, two, break. No, it's just it's just very frequent. Okay, go for it. And then you. Kabu, kabu, let's go. Oh no! No, no, no! Oh boy, two of them gone already, right here in the energy zone. <sighs> what was that guy who was trying to earn his red falcon bucks? Not going well. Oh, oh lordy, no. It's all falling apart. Oh, please, game. Please believe the lie that I deserve better. <sighs> okay, the, how out of sync are you guys? Take it.
Come on now. One, two. One, two. Up with. One, two, three? You know what? How about we just go down here? Alright, is it a bobo time? I think it is. A bobo? Not today! Not any day! <laughs> no! <laughs> right off his shoulder blades. Oh, it's a bit of a tight jump over a bobo. Okay, right. This is my absolute last chance at salvation. I gotta do energy zone. Uh, Red Falcon, the, the weird orange kind of level. I have no continues left, and there is no salvation in terms of time. Let's go. Not being shot by Diagonal Man either, thanks. Nor Crouchy Man. Ah! <laughs> Freaking jump! It's brutal. Okay, come on. Believe. You can get invincibility off of that thing, makes this whole part so much easier. Right, I feel like there's something that I often die to here, but forget about. What could it be? Probably not you, you just go once and then I go through. What was the story here? Is it just jump down because this is all hell and high water? Maybe one of those guys stopped doing their thing. Yeah, I was not comfortable with that, but we're alive. I think I can just walk off of this. Okay, whew. No, no. Okay, a bobo. Bring it on. God, he's loving going for the walks today. I suppose I shouldn't be too mad. That opens up, up to a lot more abuse. There we go. Right, a bobo down. Let's go. 12 minutes on the clock. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, Energy Zone Part 2. Not as bad as Part 1, but unlike Part 1, we haven't experienced loads of this, so... Probably gonna have a bad time. Oh no! Ah, oh, that timing was completely wrong. Oh dear, oh dear. Nice of them to just <laughs> drop all pretenses and just give you Kaizo walls. <sighs> shouldn't uh, shouldn't have risked that. No! Oh dearie, mate. I think you can get killed by these things, but I'm on my last bloody legs here. Oh no, oh no. 
<laughs> that's that's the dream dead. Should have known not to trust that jump, but yeah, up and over probably would have been smarter. But I had to had to wait and see what was happening. Ah. Oh well, I'm gonna take one more shot anyway, just to see if I can beat this. But there's no way we're winning this weekly one shot. If you voted win, kiss goodbye to those points. Close your eyes and imagine what you could have won. Dang, losing on Contra. I don't claim to be God's gift to gaming when it comes to this game, but I did a very impressive Contra run in Two Hours of Hell. And this has been anything but... Well, to be fair, using this pea shooter only is taking a very hard game and making it quite brutal. I'd be very interested if somebody wants to take up the mantle once this is done and uh, show us how Contra's done. Preferably someone that's not already some kind of Contra god, because I want to watch the experience, not just someone go, oh yeah, here's a game I've already played for 50 hours, blah 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 blah. Just, you know, spare my ego. <laughs> <laughs> it needs it. Bruised beyond recognition. Well, I, I wonder, could I just walk up and... Okay, no. Just brutalizing you up close was never an option. Not without spread, at least. Spread would have just put an end to this thing. Oh, okay, that's new. Ah, I see the left one I actually shot from up here. It also helps that you can hit from uh, from wider angles with different guns. This, the bullets on this thing are very narrow. Need to shoot fast, but bullets too slow and uh, too malnourished. Too easy for a mod challenge, no? Well, I don't really want to see Contra run as a mod challenge. I've already seen Contra utterly obliterated so many times. You know, because I rewatched my old run. Generally, a mod game gets added when I really want to see a good run of a game. You know, nobody, nobody's really raised their act yet. Hint, hint. Yagamoth himself was the first one to raise his act. I think it took him 13 hours, but he did do Act Razor 2 on hard mode. Yeah, I suppose to the people that haven't been around this channel for, what, seven years or so. Uh, raising your act is a code name for playing Act Razor 2, which is a brutally difficult action platformer. When I first played it, I thought it was terrible, but the more I played, the more I appreciated the game, and it's just unbridled difficulty. It doesn't mess around, and it's also very functional a game. I know some people was not uh, were not fond of the fact that it did away with the city building aspect of the first game. But honestly, this, the, the first, the Act Razor 1 city building aspect was terrible. Okay, I'm, I'm clearly not activating my full Contra powers because I know I've lost. Go on, let's at least pretend that we're, we're going for the win here. Keep up those pretenses. You never know when you're going to brutalize the Waterfall in one shot. If I'd made it through that other energy zone, I was very confident. But losing all of my continues on energy zone was just rough. The orange energy zone is not nearly as bad, although it did blindside me because I hadn't played it in a long time on that part. But once you do the orange zone, it's one of these hallway simulators, which, as you see, if you if you play it rightly, you do fine. And then the last level is a cakewalk. But evidently, that's not how it went down. Not just is it a cakewalk; it's a really fun level because it's got all the uh, all the alien motifs going on. It's quite cool to look at and fun to blow up. It really feels like you're taking the fight to Red Falcon, taking out their HQ. That's right, we couldn't, we couldn't explicitly say Vietnamese, so we went with, mm, aliens. Yes, brilliant. Mm. 
<laughs> I was trying to make another um, exactly the same joke, but with Halo there, but I couldn't remember the, the name of the, the nasty aliens in Halo. You know, because I played Halo once. Oh, crikey. Com okay, there we go. We couldn't say Iraqis, so we just say Covenant. Enlist today. So he chose to continue despite knowing it's already a loss. A fight to the end. Yeah, it would, it would, it would be nice to you know, at least see the last level, but I've just thrown away a continue. Then again, I should be far less likely to throw away three continues on the energy zone. Energy zone is freaking brutal, man. Those, uh, those blindsiding shots and fires are bad enough. But when you add in the jumps, oh man, those jumps on Energy Zone. Should be a convention against jumps like that in games. I think the pistol guys are worse than the rifle guys. At least the rifle guys you know are going to shoot, but the pistol guys just... You think you're safe and then out pops the pistol and down they go. It's like a Xenonauts pistol. You think, ah, yeah. This pistol's not going to manage to do anything, and then before you know it, oh right, it does as much damage as a rifle. Alright, am I in a Jesus zone here? Yeah, I am. I can just hold up and attack, and this guy's dead. At least now I can relax and check these things, but imagine if there was a last life rule. I don't care if it's life, or continue, or run. For a game this short, it should probably be the whole run. Why don't, we, why don't we pretend that it is? You know, I've already thrown away a continue for the hell of it. Ooh. Man, I should start adding last life rules to every run. Whether or not it's been submitted. Because a lot of them are really old, and uh, a lot of the uh, submissions on the weekly one-shot, I mean, are years old. Maybe I should just... well, no, it wouldn't be fair, right? People submit these challenges without it in mind that there'll be a last life. I just wish more people put in last life. It's just such a fun aspect. Hitman would not have been the run it was if it weren't for the last life rule. Win or lose. Because there were many moments in the final level in Hitman where I could have absolutely lost. And then again, one of, the, one of the more frequent questions was, what is the last life rule? Wait, we care about fairness now? Well, the weekly one-shot is rather holy to me. I've only been running the weekly one-shot for how long now? Let's say I run 50 a year, and we're on 270 what? Probably not exactly that I... Well, yeah, no, no, the weekly one-shot's never more than weekly. It's sometimes less than weekly. Nothing stops you from cheating. Ooh, good point. How about we amend the last life rule here and now? After all, what's stopping me? Well, what's stopping me is the idea that if I still lose again, I'm going to feel doubly ashamed. <laughs> oh, man. I am not sure how much I love my job. Okay, bubble menace. And these bubbles are menacing, but 
really think this whole fight's made easier if you just focus down the bubbles. Just imagine that's the whole fight. The whole fight is just shooting the bubbles. And occasionally some bullets are gonna take care of Optimus Prime. And then all will be well. I'm sure this looks easy to some people. If I was watching this, I'd think, what is even the problem here? Just shoot the moving things and then shoot Optimus Prime. But that's the fun part about watching streams. <laughs> Sitting there eating chips off your chest, going, oh, I'm freaking casual, I could do that. Don't know why the Scottish accent comes out when I'm mimicking slandering something. Where could this be coming from? See, that's not a bad one. Well, that's not a bad one at all. The Hun is full of good ideas. Double punishment for invoking the last life rule. Hmm. I don't, I don't know, because if I have control over that, then there could be situations where, you know, victory is pretty much assured if I just had that one more life. Hardly fair on the lose lobbyists, and yet they need all the help they can get. That's why I gave them this particularly difficult weekly one-shot to obviously vote lose on. I guess if you didn't know Contra, pretty hard game to make a vote on. It's hard to understand just how tough this game is. Doubly so if you've actually watched uh, speedrunners run it, because they're going to make the game look damn easy. Oh, buggery. Um, that's unfortunate. Can I even... Yeah, no. And I picked it up, so I have to kill myself again. Funny, I thought there was a scrolled off screen when I started shooting, but evidently not. Right, that's safe. Only the tips of my toes are getting shot. Analog stick? What analog stick? I have a D-pad, start, select, B and A. That is it. No L, no R, no triangle, no circle. This could only get more authentic if I was actually using the original NES controller, but then I'd be getting the, uh, the really scaly bits of my thumbs again. I think the uh, NES D-pad is better suited for this, even the PlayStation D-pad. I'm using a DualShock 4. I've been using a DualShock 4 for a very long time. I think it's the best controller ever made. That's right, even better than the Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw controller. I'd forgotten all about that, thanks to the chatter who put that fresh in my mind during RE4. Alright, Dr. Wily. The thought occurs that maybe there's some people who don't even know who Dr. Wily is. He's the, uh, he's the scientist antagonist in Mega Man. Another classic NES title. The Steam Controller is better in my opinion. I didn't like it. Feels like you put on, you start rubbing against those uh, circular pads. And they're actually little portals that go through to rub Gaben's nipples. That's obviously not what I think, but... The thoughts are there. I don't like using that controller. I feel like I don't have a good control. Uh, well, a good sense of control over it. Whoa! They are so clever on this level. Love to blindside you any way they can, and they're good at it. Spawning on top of each other, diagonal shooting, ducking and shooting, and then there's this freaking jump. I don't know how to do you, honestly. Even if I fake you out, you hit me when I try to jump over. I guess you're just meant to take the low route, but that jump on the low route is scandalously tight. Yeah, energy zone is rough. <sighs> 
wanted an extra cycle there, just wasn't feeling it. Joom joom. And go for broke. Fake out the top, have the bottom go. Fall, jump, and all is well. Red Falcon will miss like a trick, not using just more flamethrowers in the final level. Or overall. Was this a 1 or a 2? No, this one's just constant and fast. Just run on through. What the heck did I do here? Probably just walked off. And here again, just walk off. Alright, gosh. So if I'd just been armed with this information from the start, no problem. Come on, Abobo. No hole to kick you into here, but I'll still kick your teeth out. Whoa! Abobo is another retro enemy. He's from Double Dragon. And he's the first real difficulty spike of the game. Because Abobo takes a hell of a beating. God, that did not deserve to go through for me. Double Dragon, another game that has a Dwayne and Brando song. Another pretty good one. Love the Dwayne and Brando songs. Okay, come on, I'm feeling relatively confident about making it through now. I mean, just get through this level and not make more stupid decisions. But yeah, if ever there was a level where level knowledge helps out, it's this one. Oh. How many... How many uh, continues have I used so far? I think if it were a life, last life rule, it would probably be done by continues. Which would encourage me to throw away my last life if the time we was reading 128. I'm not sure I've ever been killed by those... Uh, spiky walls that appear in front of you. They're not that bad. At least they give you a, a bit of warning before they appear. Right, I gotta remember at some point there's a bit where I need to jump up off of those moving platforms or else I'm gonna be stuck in the danger zone. Which is not a zone I want to be in. Was it here? No, I don't think so. Was it here? Most assuredly. Hops a daisy. Oh yeah, oh my daisy. Imagine. Imagine it's the previous run. We're right here. Again, only have one life left. We didn't take the suicide southern route. Look how easy our life is. Yeah, unfortunately the power of imagination is the only thing that's going to secure a win for us today. Do you fight in this level again? Is it another Bobo? I I absolutely remember this part from the two hours of hell because uh, I had to turn around whilst ducked, but that made me stand up and eat one of those bullets. I curse that to this day. Oh no, it's just the wall. If I recall, you just stand here and win. All right. Come and have a go, Red Falcon. Jake's mind eye is powerful. He can not only imagine a last life rule that isn't there, he can also imagine the most generous version of the last life rule. All right, oh, there wasn't another hallway fight. Oh my God, I threw victory away on this one. Well, uh, I also somehow threw that life away. Yeah, quite a lot of NES games at the time ended like this. Anybody remember Power Blade? That all just turned into aliens at the end. Cool game though, I really like Power Blade. Right, these things hone in on you, but there's nothing to be gained from killing the spawns. Much as I like to say kill and keep moving around here, it's more just keep moving.
Might still fail. I've only got one life left here, but I do have continues. I think we're done now. Oh, oh, bollocks. Okay, well, we are done now. But yeah, easy, easy level. Bart Simpson in space. Yeah, that doesn't really come out of nowhere, though, does it? Anyway, easy, easy level, and we're already done here. Uh, done here? Done here? Okay, there we go. I think it takes a lot more hits when you don't have glorious spread on your side. Uh-huh. Was that my last continue? No, surely I've got another one up my sleeveys. You know, just, just as insurance. Not that I need it, but it always makes me feel a bit better when I've got that uh, backup life or continue or what have you to rely upon. Just a ease of mind thing. Huh. Easy level, right? So first off, that thing's got to go. You know, we shot at all the way here, and then these things got to go. And then you really just... Uh, okay, you get killed by the aliens still. Oh, there's still a bottom one there. Down you go, please. And then you just shoot the heart till it's gone. Although, thinking about it... Yeah, no, just shoot the heart till it's gone. The game is that easy. That freaking easy. <sighs> Good thing we had the last run rule active, right? <sighs> Grim. I had victory. I could feel it in my hands. Triumphing over energy zone. Just paved the rest of the way, but... <laughs> Why couldn't it have been a 1 hour 42 challenge? Surely that was a typo by the submitter. Nigoing Hadol. What a, what a name. Save the universe, the very universe. That's right, for some reason they put all of Red Falcon onto planet Earth. And we blew it all up. Ah. <sighs> Invoke the Japanese last life and pay out the win lobby. I'm here for the carnage. <laughs> oh man, I, I have never once paid out the wrong lobby. But could you imagine if I did? The the outrage. And there'd be no way at all to give them the points back. I could do a, you know, oh you accidentally got your points, just put in the same amount of points and you know, we'll do a rerun of the vote. No one's gonna do that. In fact, I bet the people that got paid out erroneously would take the other side to get even more points. You know, we've already got our line of shame, the people that steal from charity around here, and just the other day someone stole that Avorion key meant for Celestia. Utter scum. But I suppose today I am the ultimate scum here. I have failed in my run, so let me go and fish out my punishment games. Because I'm due to spin it, and I already have Witcher on the to-do list. Oh, God. Never gets any easier. Alright, we can listen to stage one music while we wait. Come to me, wheelofnames.com, slam them all in, randomize them, and see if we can't get them on screen. Does that look right? I think that looks right. Yeah, I'll take it. I... We'll take it a bit. Or I don't like the way it was overlaying with chat there. Okay, so if you're somehow new, could you remind us who's on that list of shit? I don't think I have shame dot uh, jpeg on this scene, and I don't know where I've saved it. But you know what? There's always a good reason to go and name and shame. I'm sure I can fish it out. I have a Twitch-related folder. Why is shame? Is it on my temp thing? It is! Oh, I've got it on my easy access place. There we go, the list of shame. 
These are the biggest offenders from the charity that we had. We had a bit of a charity, right? We were just giving points away to anybody that was poor and needed channel points. Um, Zingus and Chumro have both paid back their dues to society. But the others have not. Not to my memory. Pepper might claim that he has, but we all know that's a big fat... Well, never mind. Anyway, ignore the shame list for now. We're looking at the punishment list. So if you're somehow new to the concept on the channel, whenever I fail a challenge on the run, typically a weekly one-shot, but we have in the past had two hours of hell and some other little wagers, I spin this. It's a Wheel of Punishment games, and the games that have submitted here are done by supporters of the channel. It's one of the rare things you actually get back for supporting this channel. I don't do much in the way of... Uh... Well, I don't do much in the way of that. In any case, uh, I already have Witcher on my to-do list, and now we gotta roll another one. A good punishment game is either really hard, punishing to play, or punishing to watch. A really good punishment game is uh, two out of three, and a phenomenal one, like the hot pot recipe, is all three. Regardless, we spin it, and whatever we land on, we are committed to doing. You didn't remove the Witcher, it's okay, we won't land on Witcher. We also won't land on I Love You Colonel Sanders, or Pharaoh A New Era, but we will land on Toy Story, for the Super Nintendo by Blubbery Abyss. I like going on to Steam and checking what the game is, but Toy Story? Well, it's certainly not on Steam, it's on the SNES. Hmm. Well, it looks like I've got a double bill of punishments coming up, most likely next week. I've still to sort out my schedule, but I think we'll have a real juxtaposition of Toy Story and Witcher together on a day next week. Oh, I think I remember this, says Pandy. Surely Blubber knows his stuff. Let's not confuse Blubber with Blobber. Blobber knows his bad games. Disney on the SNES can be really bad. Yeah, but it can also be really good. Is Lion King Disney? Is Aladdin Disney? Because those were pretty good on the SNES. Anyway, there's only one thing left to do, and that is to pay out the lose lobby. This is always one of the more painful things to do. Because not only have I failed and let myself down, I've also let down so many others, right? Choose prediction. This was failure. At least we can take solace in knowing that failure lobby don't even get a two to one payout. We lose on Contra. 3.7 million channel points going into some very ill-gotten coffers. And let's get the summary of that up on screen. Oh, it's a bit flow breaking to do this. Twitch, give me some better tools, please. Where's prediction dot window cap? That looks a lot like it. We had eight members of the lose lobby confident enough to put in the six figures. Baron, how could you do this to me? <laughs> Baron woke up extra early today, colonial that he is, just to throw down the maximum amount of points on my failure, joined by Pandy, DDR, and Ninjin as the quadrifecta of losers. Oh man, it hurts. All these people have been around for years and yet they thought I'm gonna lose at Contra. They were right, sure, but I would have been confident in me. And I've been around for the longest. Backseat Muriact, Kirai, Curlew, Makis, and even a Chronomus of Infra Infamy. All backed the failure lobby. And the glorious win lobby, who may have fought and died, but did so with the moral victory. Include Matty Mayo and Broswind as the quarter million put. Finally! Finally, somebody took a bite out of Blue's wallet. Unthinkable, but it finally happened. Bane, Red Eyes, Ballows, and just they're all they're all losers today. Sad to look out. Sad day for Hungary. Ah. Oh well, the stream's going down, but the stream will likely be back up at an unknown later point today as I bite more into a Vorion and get my industry going. I need to go weep in a corner for a wee while, maybe grab some lunch while I'm at it. But until I am back, there's the cheers and cheerio.